Monday. It's uh, what we call Scrapping Monday because what we do is we gather up our stuff that's no good. We go out looking in the weekend for the stuff that we can get rid of at the scrapyard. And uh, that's what we're doing today. Let me show you some of the things we're bringing from here. Uh, that's actually the outer case into a through the wall 27,000 BTU air conditioner. That's the guts to it. Uh, we have right there is a sealed unit. We'll probably try to get that thing off. Uh, we also have a this right here is what they call an aluminum copper radiator, radiator or rad. And we got two of them, one there and one over there. What we're going to do is clean it up. I'll show you how we do that in a few minutes. And we got some copper to go with it. This is a refrigerator we picked up at a curb alert. Uh, it supposedly works, but some of the hardware for putting the door, door back on is missing. So, no good to us. We'll scrap it. And so. Uh, those are the two big items. We've got a few small items we'll scrap as well, and then we'll head up to our Enfield storage unit after that. So that's how the day is planning to go. Uh, we'll probably do some curb alerts as, they, as we go along, and um, we got we got to bring some stuff back here from Enfield. So I'm not Enfield, Windsor. So uh, I'm getting ready for the large uh, moving sale that we're going to do later in the week. So uh, let me get this stuff set up onto our vise and get the tools ready and I'll show you what we do to clean up some of the rad. Okay, so we've got the aluminum copper rad here on the vise. Our, our goal is to cut this piece of steel off and there will be some pieces of copper that will fall off. Hopefully we'll catch it down here. Uh, the difference in price is we could get two to three times more for the radiator without the steel on it. So we're going to Use a saw as long cut it off. One side. the other side. And in a matter of about a minute, I've just double or tripled our money there. Alright, so we'll get this up into the car with the rest of the scrap and we'll see you after we get the scrap. Alright, we uh, brought that stuff to the scrapyard over in Waterbury. There we did just a regular steel dump. Uh, we wanted to try a scrapyard we had been to on Saturday with some some, uh, some of the other stuff. The, the aluminum uh, copper rads and some uh, brass and other aluminum stainless. We brought that to another scrapyard, got comparable pricing. So, but we wanted to dump the refrigerator instead of driving it another hour or more down the road. We got rid of it early and all the steel that was in it. We stopped back at our storage unit in Windsor, grabbed some more uh, scrap, and went to South Windsor to that scrapyard I was just telling you about. So far today, we've gotten uh, $19 from the first scrapyard and $68, I believe, something like that, from the second scrapyard. So now we've loaded up with some stuff to bring back to the shop. As once again, we're getting ready for a, a moving sale on Thursday, and we're bringing some of that stuff back. So that's where we're here for the rest of the day so far. Uh, we don't know what's going to come up yet. Um, all what we have planned is done. We'll get back to the house, probably grab a bite to eat, and maybe go out and do some, uh, some evening treasure seeking. So we'll see you then. All right, guys. Um, we went out and did a little bit of scrapping. Uh, didn't find much. So uh, 
that's pretty much it for Monday. Uh, I know it's a quick day, but um, you know we did a whole lot of stuff around the shop and, and around the yard. So that's it for Monday. Tomorrow is Tuesday, the last day of our uh, our uh, seven day series. Be sure to watch it. Uh, also, be sure to if you haven't seen Sundays, we have a contest within Sunday's video. Be sure to catch that as well. Uh, that's it for now. See you tomorrow. You always remember, keep your eyes open, your head on a swivel. You too can make money doing this.